Welcome to Albion War Reports, your source of live battle coverage featuring the top guilds and alliances of Albion Online. Today is the 1st of September 2020, and I am your host of the Chosen One. Joining me today on the commentary, we have Robin Hood RS, and on the camera doing the fancy back end stuff, making sure we get to see two things at once, we have Bogle. How are you, How are you guys doing today? I'm, not, I'm doing good. I'm are you guys excited for some city fights? Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, yesterday's action was pretty wild um, with the boys in Black Order finally finding their foot in. Didn't come out with a win, but they did a lot better than their last two attempts. So hopefully today, maybe we'll see uh, some cities change hands in the Ward of Albion. Um, but it's going to be down to the boys in the chat to decide what we watch. We do have three city fights up for a viewer we have limehurst bridgewatch and carleon all happening at the same time we can only show one unfortunately um or maybe two with the little have, screen we have to say that it looks like the main team of elevate is going bridgewatch that's what it so, looks like uh I, i'm in limehurst at the moment and Apparently, this one is going to be the bloodiest and the hardest challenge, apparently. Um, that's what I got told by my sources within Elevate. So, not, n I'm not sure about Carleone, who's showing for that one, but... Uh... Well, I do have a, a few names that I can... Oh. Limehurst is taking the lead right now in the poll. Oh, Limehurst right off the bat, huh? Yeah, Limehurst, Limehurst, you know. Like uh, the one I can never Carleon, Carleon, who? Yeah. Carleon, if you're from Albion. <laughs> By the way, oh my god, 40 already? I think somebody's cheating with energy. Wow. I think Ly Limehurst. <laughs> oh god. Why is right. Limehurst so popular? Limehurst well, that's what we're going to have to watch then. Yeah. Uh, um... Let's go get some names. I have my names if you look in the, in the chat. Because army is attacking that one? Yeah, you do have BA in that one. Uh, BA hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, really? Is this what we're going to watch? Bye. Come on now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So which side are we going to watch from? <laughs> Robin, who, who are we going to watch? Is uh, it Theseus? Theseus? Yeah. yeah. Why are we sh shouting oh no for? What, what? I've seen I've seen the lineups. Oh god. <laughs> are they good? Silence <laughs> says a thousand uh -oh. words. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Alright, well, if this is a troll, we're gonna switch to the main fight and that's probably gonna be Bridge Watch. So Hmm. But like in, in a few seconds, it will say King Mojo boosted and spent like 500k energy on this. And we know how often Mojo watches the stream. As <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I'm pretty sure somebody from PA just boosted the channel because. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how many? Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> Well, under a minute to go. We are nearly here for the action. Um, Ten seconds remaining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing a different style of city fight. It's completely different teams, right, compared to the last two that we've seen. Right. So play style should be different. Uh, I've got a feeling it's going to be completely different. Um, and here we go. Elevate showing in row gear, so we're off to a good start for this that's side. Th that's a good start. Yep. Um, do you have the the second name for this one? I don't know oh. who do you want for the second one. Like Iagin, maybe. That's the names that I got for this. Nick Brt. Oh no, that's the other side. Oh, here we go. No, that's him. Yeah, he's on here. We shall see. I don't want two fights Elevate at once. taking a strong middle approach this time round. 
Going for a dismount. Blue army is showing, and it looks like it's going to be real gear. So we're going to have an actual fight here. It's going to be a messy start with all sides just bursting that damage output. And we're going to see a death straight away off the rip. Oh, boy. Blue army getting pushed back down the choke. It looks like Elevate may be taking the win here for the, the top battle. Nice little clump there. We do have two separate fights happening. That permafrost landed nicely. Where's the follow-up? It's not going to be there. Judicator armor does come down, boosting out the defensives. Therefore, elevate. Cam9 clump. That was perfect. Followed up by the perma and blue army are now getting pushed back. It's going to be, be a repeat performance as we saw yesterday. Pretty much the same entire class setups. Yeah, Elevate not messing around. Zerfax knows what he's got do it going on here. He's definitely set up all three of these teams to have very similar comps overall, just different players filling the same roles. That way you know what you have to do. You've seen it done before. They were able to watch videos of it if they haven't participated a dozen times. And they just executed. Yeah, Blue Army getting washed out <laughs> for the first round here. Now it's all about the caps. I don't know why Elevate's not going for the Southeast cap just yet. Um, get more gear maybe you know tc is having to dig around uh, we're i'm gonna go try to find us another thing yeah um who do i have again I... Tiagin? maybe yeah, yeah. check that it's like we're going to have a battle for the northwest side this time around. Uh, put the name in the chat for you, it's just so we're on the same page. Nice little clump there once again by Elevate using the Cowlands to their advantage. Nice knockback there by the new Avalonian Mage armor. Like, Elevate trying to find some heals here for the front line. Tiagan getting forced back, so is Mattias. Nice little place here, back and forth. British Weeb looking for an engagement, can't find one. Can't find the hills either. It's like Blue Army are lacking on the hills. But look at as Blue that was Army's happening getting on the slaughtered top on here. the east. Yeah, there's a for the mi battle for middle. BA did not have anything going on up here. Easily taken by Elevate. Yep, nice little shutdown there. It's followed up by the silence. That was a nice little play there by Elevate. Elevate just racking up the kills. You see him popping off on top of our screen here. Here comes the big damage. That was a massive cam land. Sadly, no permafrost follow-up on that play. Nice little shutdown by the healer. Wild back and forth. Tiagin, I compared to Prince Exion, he's not as savage with nope. this one-handed mace. Um, not at all. Is, I'm watching Exion on the other screen, and they're actually absolutely dominating the other fight against Black Order right now. 189 to 167. Yep, Elevate actually going to lose this engagement, it seems. A little bit of back and forth. Uh, actually, no, Knight does... Was that Knight in the background there? I don't know, Cheeto. One HP getting getting a, the escape off. Reset coming down for the front line of Elevate. Elevate taking the win on this engagement once again. They are holding caps for the moment. Their back cap just got taken, though. Uh, the little rack team that's going around taking the caps. Like uh, the point rotation's got to fall for Blue Army on this one. Nice little clump on the eastern side. Zero follow-up damage, though, unfortunately. That was a big engagement there by Tiagin. He's going to get return damage on pretty much instantly. He's going to leap back for those heals. Like Elevate just holding on to this middle choke point for the moment. And while we weren't really uh, paying attention, somehow Blue Army has taken the lead. 150-176. Yeah, that rack cap coming into big play. It's like Elevate I haven't even paid attention. I haven't seen that uh, back cap flicker once yet. There it comes the permafrost engagement, but it's not with what we're used to. See, it should be landing with Tiagin's leap right there with the stun. And it's it seems like this group is not well like synced up compared to like the main team for Elevate. Like yesterday, you would see it like it would be Camlan leap in permafrost instantly and then the remaining dps comes out and it's just like an insta deletion this is going to be a nice catch though here where's the follow-up there it goes one kill onto snacks or he goes down there comes the cam line combo but the permafrost actually connects in the back line not the front line where the stun landed but it's not going to matter oh you wow are getting wow. over they are getting sent to tent right now once again 
The caps are back into Elevate's hands as well. They're going to get engaged on with a nice little permafrost from Blue Army of their own. It's not going to stop the force of Elevate crushing Blue Army back towards this western side. But can they make it count? Now is the time when you want to push for that extra cap. Get it in the last 30 seconds of this rotation. They had the numbers. They sent seven people home. They needed to push through and get another cap to really make it pay. And at the end of this, BA is just going to be even. Yep, and we're seeing Elevate Southeast Cap flick. Um, there is still time for that to get taken. It, mm, if that goes down, it's going, it's going, to, be it's going nice to be a 40 play. point tick. Is it going Four to seconds. It oh, it does. did. Oh, no. That's not that's what. That's not good for Elevate. Yeah, that's a big turn of points right there. Went from 30 points for to 30 points against. Yep, Tiagan here just trying to stop these members advancing. You got Yoink and Young G trying to sneak in on some kills. I think on the healers, I think their main objective would be. But Tiagan getting fire artillery down. He's going to pull back for heals of his own. Blue Army are now up in the faces of Elevate. It's going to be a wild back and forth here. Snaxer goes down. So does Venti. Not looking good. And, uh,. Update on the other fights over in Carleone is currently 130 to 138. Elevate uh, down 10 points currently. So 128, 137, nine points, I guess. That was a big engagement. Where's the cam lab? What was that stun? Why did you hit that one healer? That could have been perfect. But Elevate do get a kill with that engagement though. The wind wall knocking back the healers. Yeah, I can do his best here just to stay on top of this uh, this healing group at the back. Like, uh, Elevate, though, losing a couple members back and forth. This is, like, a really messy city fight. Like, it's not what we're used to. No, uh, people are asking if this is the main Elevate force. No, the main Elevate force is currently facing Black Order and is up 177 to 78. Yeah, oh, and, and that's for Bridge Watch. That... <laughs> Black Order had its first three cap of the fight with 25 seconds left. Elevate switched it. That's going to be a rough 30 point, well, 60 point swing on one cap. And I, I'm just like so blown away by how hectic this fight is. It's more like a ZVZ than a coordinated GVG. Like, mm -hmm. it is so back and forth. Like, members just dropping here, there, and everywhere, and people just engaging when they just want to, oh. pretty much. Elevate taking the four cap. If they had Finally. done it just a little bit earlier, like three seconds earlier, it would have been a big point swing for them. Oh, that was a big cam land onto Elevate. Elevate going to lose a member there with that engagement. Decky, a little bit low. Nice stoppage there by Tiagin once more. DPS follow-up is nowhere to be seen, though. They are just getting bullied in the back line, it seems. Oh, Snaxer once again going down. I'm pretty sure that's like the fourth death for Snaxer. It is. So he's on his fifth set already. And it's pretty early days so far. Nice little Camlan once again. Elevate do a, doing work with these tank engagements. Sadly, not enough permafrost or fire damage on the follow-up. Right Pick now, Empire's too. doing really well. They're currently up 25 points. 105 for, uh, 104 for Elevate, 131. For Empire. Not bad. So annoyed that we can't have like multiple Five screens, screens all, yeah, all like... at once. Oh damn, that was a big engagement onto Elevate. Back into the fight here for Limhurst. Tiagin pushing up the staircase. He's looking for an engagement of his own. He's gonna pull back, trying to get some heals for himself. Fire artillery is raining down on Hyper Chief. Pushing the Blue Army boys back up onto the top platform here. They've finally broken free from that death choke up on the wooden bridge. And now Blue Army are just getting pushed all the way back. It is going to be a very messy, dirty and engagement here. There are people getting the left behind bullying. here. This, this is, is not... pure bullying oh, by this, is... this tank. He's doing a really great part. job. Let's... He's no Exion, but he's doing a great job. Yep. It's, it's good. A little bit of a return there for Blue Army as well. Permafrost does connect. That's going to be a big engagement, actually. Blue Army need to capitalize on that, but no, the Judy Boots come in for Tiagin, hitting the backline once again. The Knight just dragging that Camlan into the backline. 
leading Tiagin into a perfect stun silence pool. Oh boy. Thought that Knight would have been more experienced than this. I'm surprised he's not on Gala's clapping himself, but hey, that's what it is. Nice. Oh, yo, where's the follow-up? Come on, that that's like a deletion right there. There it is. It's going to be massive. Blue army are getting deleted. They are Just... getting sent back to 10. Oh, my. That was the disgusting combo that we were looking for this whole entire match. Blue army now are going to get dwindled down. It's a long walk back to the tent for them. Oh, dear. That was a disgusting play. Finally, Elevate finding the rhythm. Nice catch once more. The wind wall comes out. Followed up by the Camland and the Permafrost. Come on, the executes come down. Yoinkvich is... <laughs> he's out of there. He's escaping with the Blood Letter. Oh, Jesus. That's some free loot finally for Elevate. And the, the other points. side over here, and Carlian, Elevate just took the lead 104 to 102. Very nice. So, it looks like all fights are going quite... Like, evenly, I would assume. Well, no, there's still the one over in Bridgewatch, which is a massacre. Oh. Currently, it's 141 to 22. Oh, dear. 140 to 22. And Black Order has three caps. With 25 seconds left to go, they could pull off <laughs> the victory. <laughs> Blue Army getting sent back to 10. I don't know. I think they're, they're done. They, they're, they're, they're toast. Done? I don't know, man. Surely not. Uh, I mean... The person that's probably only said it there is Snaxer. He's got six deaths. Is he calling it? I don't know. Hyper Chief's on five deaths. He asked me if I wanted to do a post-show interview with him and that we would air tomorrow. I told him I would. You think he's nope. going to want to do it? Um, yeah, they're sitting. They're on oxes you. and they're hanging out. It's over. Is uh, Prince Exion one still going? Prince Exion is still going. And right now, Black Order does have the caps. They're down quite a bit but the other fight is very close if you want to head over to liette um yeah we'll go for the one that's really close then um what's the name again sorry well i guess momono is another option over here yeah we could go for momono then he has a camland tank 102 well, this one was close it was close when i was here just a moment ago it was 104 to 102 but clearly elevate has taken control of this while i was watching the end of that ba fiasco yep empire getting pushed back towards their tent but caps are in the boys from empire's favor at the moment it's not going to be for long, but still, it looks like the oh. loot bags are getting collected. That was a nasty catch right there. Empire just getting sent back to the tent right now. Members after members just getting deleted. Fire damage going to tick away. Perfect blazing. Nice catch by Momono. It's not going to be any follow-up, though. Dragon Rider going to make it out alive by the skin of his teeth. Is Momono overweight? Did I just see a little bit of overweight action? He's moving stompy-ish. He I don't looks know. Looks like he's walking armor. with purpose. Well, if you look at the guy right next to him, he Nugent seems to be moving a little bit better, right? Yeah, I, I think uh, it's just the armor animation. The armor the animation armor for this particular armor. Okay, just a very purposeful walk. Yes. The man walks with his shoulders out in front. All right, and the I, I believe we're about to see the other one over here wrap up as well. Yep, Elevate did win Bridge Watch. Yep, and Elevate are going to win Carly on the 40-point tick just passing. Three There's one oh. point remaining. 3-0. and oh. Yeah. That's impressive. So, I can't, I can't... So, people were coming into this expecting at least one city to fall. Mm -hmm. Elevate held on to all three cities. That's 60 players that they can put up against a massive coalition that's trying to take these cities away from them. And they did it with ease. Yeah, they now, did. They took control of it. The question is, <laughs> do they try again? I see launches, um, multiple tomorrow. launches for yeah. Bridgewatch. Um, actually, there's... Wait, how's that two? You, you I saw it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing what you're saying. Okay, weird. Um... <laughs> But yeah, tomorrow we will have another City GVG here. Looks like it's going to be Bridgewatch. I don't see any other cities getting launched on 
Not yet, anyway. We shall see by the end of tonight. So 20 and 21 tomorrow? Uh, I think so. Huh. Okay. Well, we shall see tomorrow. Yeah, I guess that's what we're watching tomorrow, Robin. Maybe it's maybe we do two city GVG casts tomorrow. Well, we'll see what we can do. We'll try to figure out something for the for the people. Yeah, well, it was a great showing. Very enjoyable to watch Elevate just stomp over the coalition and proving once again that they are worthy of holding on to these cities here in Albion. Oh, they're doing great when it comes to these 20v20 city fights. And where are they at in the rankings right now? They've been doing work lately with the points, so they're they moving on fifth. up. Yeah. But we all know that <laughs> Black Order paid for their win here, so it doesn't really count. Well, that's because Hondel is currently in first place. That's the way I've been looking at it. Hondel is currently in first, Goyatel mm -hmm. in second, Sun in third, Elevate in fourth place here. This is anybody could currently win the season. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty tight uh, race here. You'll see 52 days remaining on season 10. And the action is just getting started. But that's going to be it for us here today uh, we will be back tomorrow uh what do we got planned for tomorrow well at 19 we're gonna have the ao daily show it's more of our community shows on friday where we look at guild spotlights maybe some fan art whatever's going around politically making the rounds uh, we had a couple of interesting interviews that we might talk a little bit about but mostly it's going to be community stuff that happened this week while we were watching interviews glorious and if anyone in the chat wants to head over to our YouTube channel, see yesterday's City GVG fight, it is uploaded. Um, also along with all our other shows. So if you want to check out our YouTube channel, it is going to be in the in the chat uh, right about now. I'm just posting it now. Head over there and subscribe. Thank you all for allowing us to hit 2,000 subscribers. Uh, oh, we hit very good. Yeah, congratulations. Let's get in there. Yeah, doing yeah. work, man. Doing work. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow with even more action. And until then, have a good night. Peace.